the baby is sleeping she's taking a nap we just got finished doing her photo shoot for her second birthday so don't clown my background she's taking a nap and while she is i thought that i would come on and share my five biggest mistakes that i did while using the law of attraction so you don't make the same mistakes okay and you should listen to me my name is danish which means wisdom i got your back learn from me <laughs> i could be the best thing in your life Miss Danish. So the first mistake that I did while using the law of attraction that I want you to avoid is staying in your head, meditating and reading and not taking action. So for me, I mean, I just got so wrapped up in the thought of meditating and being in alignment and being open to the universe that whenever I got stuck and I couldn't figure out what to do next, I would spend time meditating. And it felt so good to meditate, especially the guided meditations that, hmm, I just did one. Let me do another one. Let me read this article right quick to see if that can give me some guidance. Let me read this really quick book that I love um, and see if that can give me some guidance. And the, you know, the only thing that did for me was it stalled me out and it made me procrastinate. It made me not take action on those things that I knew I could be acting on, even though I didn't know how to do it. You know, sometimes when you take the first step, God and the universe will unfold for you and show you what to do next. But until you get out of your head, get out of the meditation, get out of the book, until you do that, you won't be able to look up and see what um, you're being led to do. So that is my first mistake. Don't do that. Of course, definitely meditate definitely read i'm talking about limit it though limit your meditation to morning or night you know or whatever works best for you once a day is fine you know um i used to meditate in the morning sometime during my lunch break and then you know i'm right before bed and that was fine it didn't take over my day but be careful of that be careful of that you want to take action so the second mistake that I want you to avoid is thinking that things will come to you out of thin air. You know, I learned about this thing called the law of least effort. And I really sincerely thought that I didn't have to do anything. Only thing I would have to do is sit right here in this chair and Whatever I wanted would just come falling on my head. That's what I wanted. And that's how I wanted it to happen. Least effort. I wanted to sit home um, and get a check in the mail. Okay? That is what I wanted. An unexpected check. An unexpected windfall. That is what I wanted. The law of least effort, right? Wrong. <laughs> You still have to do something. You still have to provide service. You still have to give something. You still have to uh, earn the money. The money has to be earned. So, yes, will things come to you out of thin air? Absolutely. But you have to know that you're going to have to do something to reciprocate that action most times. Sometimes, yes, you can get lucky and a check will come in the mail and a windfall will come to you when you least expect it. But let me tell you, most times you're going to have to earn that money. Okay, so the third mistake that I made, and if you watch my other video on Bob Proctor, the third mistake I made, you'll know, is not following the advice of my mentor. So I mentioned that Bob Proctor told me that I should 
wear this necklace that I had. Not this one. But uh, it was a different necklace that I had on the day when we had this this conversation. He told me to wear it every single day for a year. And whenever I looked at it to really let it be a reminder to me to not let my paradigm hold me back, to remember the difference between my conscious thinking and my subconscious thinking, and to always be in control of that thing, right? He also gave me um, lots of other advice, but that was the one thing that I did not do. So I always think about that, of what could have been if I, if I did that, if I heeded his advice. Also, too, I've got advice from another mentor I had that I did not take. This particular person told me to um, set up classes and do different classes on the various subjects that um, she and I had talked about. I didn't want to do it. So <laughs> I didn't do it. I was thinking, why do I have to do that? I want it to come to me with the least effort. And that is putting too much effort. And that's effort. I don't even really know if that's what I want to do. So I didn't do it. But what I think would have happened if I took her advice is it would have put me in alignment with you know, that extra um, thing that I was trying to get to. It would have put me on the trajectory of that thing. And without taking that advice to do those classes um, in the way how she said, and really starting at square one, I thought that I can be you squared and that I could um, start at, you know, level five. Like I could skip over the first four things. And no, you can't. If you have a good a good mentor who is successful and is everything that you want in life, trust what they say, do what they say. Because I'm telling you, I have had mentors where I did exactly what they told me and I've always won. I've always won. So if your mentor is telling you something, it's for a good reason, unless it's uh, illegal or unethical don't do that. <laughs> but if it's legal, ethical, and it makes you feel good, and they've gotten success from it, sure, why not do it? Okay, this is my fourth mistake that I made with using the law of attraction, and that was, and I'm being vulnerable here, okay? I'm being real raw. I'm being real vulnerable. I'm sharing with you what I did wrong, so you don't do it, okay? So, the fourth mistake I made was thinking that being around successful people and the people that I admired, being in the same company, space, and room with them will get me success. Success by osmosis, let me tell you, is not going to happen. Nobody can avoid doing the work, okay? And that was a big mistake of mine. Um, so if you are using the law of attraction, just know you're still going to have to put in the work. There's no getting around it. Sorry. There is no getting around putting in the work. Even when you got everybody that you've always admired, loved and respected sitting right next to you and around you, you know, you're still going to have to be the one to put in the work. So that's okay. You got it. You have everything you need within you to get it done. And that's what I had to realize, that I really have everything within me to get it done. And what I don't, that what I didn't think I had was like, um, you know, resources, they can be found, you know, only practice those things that you don't, those skill set that you don't feel like you have. Practice every single day it gets better it gets easier but do the work okay okay so the last and the fifth thing that i am going to speak about today my fifth mistake while using the law of attraction that i want you to avoid okay is sending mixed messages to the universe you can't do that one thing that I know for sure is you have to get crystal clear and what you want 
You don't have to worry about the how. The how is what you don't need to worry about, but you at least need to know exactly what you want. So what is it that you want? Do you want a new car? Do you want a new house? Do you want to find love? Do you want good health? You have to get crystal clear with yourself on exactly it, what it is that you want, okay? And once you know, you have to say that and believe for that. Because I was believing for this, that, and the third. I was all over the place. God, send me a windfall. Let me win the lottery. Let me uh, get a job. Let me uh, get a check in the mail. Let me do that. Okay, which one is it, Danish? <laughs> which one is it? Do you want that, this, this? And of course, I'm just like, no, I want all. It doesn't work that way. Get crystal clear. Stick to it. And this is this is my advice to that that has really worked for me. Getting crystal clear. Write down a list of your top five, ten things that you want. That you when you really sit down and think about it, what is it that you want? And you look at this list every single day, a few times a day if you can. In the morning, in the afternoon, and at night is when I do it. I have the list sitting right on my desk. And what it does is it keeps me on track. It keeps me on track. I know for me that I want to be a healthy, fit mom. So when me seeing that I wrote that down on a piece of paper, it gives me the motivation and clarity to make those choices for that day that keeps me on that trajectory to be a healthy, fit mom. Seeing that, what I wrote in my handwriting, making a claim to it, making a, a stake to it, it puts me in the mind frame of that's what I want. That is what I'm working for. And that is what I am opening myself up to God and the universe to bless me with and trust that it will happen. Okay, so those were my top five mistakes that I made when using the law of attraction and like I said my name is Danish okay which means wisdom listen to me don't make those mistakes okay I'm being real raw real vulnerable and um you don't have to do those same mistakes that I did you can actually get around them and do better and get success quicker okay so until next time, thanks for listening. Thanks for dealing with my funny background. <laughs> Let's change the world together.